Hello guys and welcome to Ah or Ask Ads Anything Answers, I guess. Um so on Reddit for more IRL videos I asked for your questions. Um and here are the answers to those questions. Uh so first up we have from Dinnerbone. If you could ask one question to yourself from a random unpredictable point in time and get a reply back, what would the question be? Um, I would ask myself and make sure I gave a truthful, factual answer, um, something that I didn't know the answer to. Um, for asking for a factual answer, it makes sure I have researched it. Um, as I don't know the answer when I ask the question, it will make sure that I'm asking a future version of myself, um, which means the future version will tell me the answer, which will create a paradox because now I know the answer and don't need to research it to find out the answer. So that's, that is what I ask, ask myself to create a paradox because paradoxes are probably pretty useful for things that involve science. Um, next question from the Mega Shy Guy. Uh, where did the name Adlington come from? Um, it's a terrible username. I like the username Ads, um, and that's what we shall go into on the subject there. And why the minion as your skin? Um, again, it's a terrible skin. I just needed a skin when I joined the Minecraft server. I'd never played multiplayer before. Um, Minecraft is literally pretty much my only experience of multiplayer. Um, and I needed a skin because all I was was Steve. Um... So I chose a, a Despicable Me minion because that was what was on my mind. Um, <laughs> and now I can't sell any merchandise with my skin on it because Universal will probably come and kill me. Um, to add to the last question by Axelaxivu, if you were to change your skin, what would you change it to? Um... I don't know, I guess I would probably go like the BWO good route and kind of do a skin of me, I guess. Then at least I actually own it. I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with my skin, it's just I can't sell anything with my skin on it. Um, so I can't make any like t-shirts or nothing. Uh, Gil, followed by a whole bunch of numbers, asks, Will you join Team Canada? I would love to. I have not been invited though. So there we go. Penguins52 asks, during the Minecraft charity live stream, you said if 100,000 or more was raised, you would publish a book. As we did end up raising 118,000, you are planning on publishing it soon. Um, I thought everybody forgot about that. I wasn't going to publish one. What I was going to do was release a early draft onto the internet, um, which I... Um, have been trying to make up um, it wouldn't be a complete novel and it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be anything near finished or, f or f like refined or anything um, actually what I was going to do when my laptop broke was sit down and write for a couple of hours I just came back from town felt like writing turned on my, turned on my laptop and nothing so yeah when I have a draft that I, that I feel is good enough to go online um, and be read by however many thousand or ten thousands of people, um, then I will definitely get around to that. And if so, what would the title be? The title would just be Draft of Story X. I, I'm terrible at titles. So, there we go. Um, Macho Dagger asks, are there any of your writing works online? There are not, as far as I'm aware. I have been published in a poems book uh, that was done via school, um, but that's probably way out of print, and however many few copies there exists, you won't ever see. So there's not much point giving you the name, and that releases a bit more detail than I would like about my personal life anyway. Um, but I have technically been published. Um, I didn't receive any royalties or anything, and it wasn't a great poem anyway. It was about a monkey. It was about a monkey. Um, you said your laptop was your main source of income. What do you do? I make YouTube videos. When I say my main source of income, um, it's my only source of income. It's not a, a 
huge income, but it is still my only source of income. So it is my main source of income. Um, Castro, followed by a whole bunch of numbers, asks, uh, what, do you th uh, what do you think you do differently that sets you apart from some other channels that would encourage new viewers to give you a chance over another? I've been thinking about this long and hard, and I honestly have no idea. Uh, my commentary is very rarely coherent. Um, if that's a good thing or not, I don't know. Um, my gameplay is also very rarely coherent. Um, that may or may not be a good thing. I, I'm just very ad-lib and very attempting to be funny, but I don't think I really am. Um, I'm a bit rubbish, to be honest. There are plenty of other better YouTubers out there. You can go and uh, go and see some of those if you would like. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't watch, don't watch me. Just turn off now, turn off now. Uh, Neil J. Halpin asks, what your favorite moment in the Harry Potter series uh, my favorite moment um, my enjoyment of the Harry Potter series kind of goes down on a linear scale or maybe like a exponential is it exponent no it would be the the reverse exponential which the name eludes me right now where it kind of goes down quickly and then levels out um, it don't go down much but it does I enjoy the start earlier because I'm very much into world building. That's what I really love um, about fantasy series is fantasy series. I um, it's something I have a slight hobby in as well as world building. Um, so I I definitely enjoy the start of it more because it's more exploring the world and building up um, most of the meat of the world. Um, so yeah, I enjoy the beginning more. Uh, Acrios Blackfire asks, what is your favourite thing to do outside of gaming? Um, the normal stuff, reading, watching movies, TV, eating as well, I, I like that quite a bit. Um, when I was in Ottawa I enjoyed exploring a new town, a new city, um, going out as, for dinner dates with my wife, um, you know, just normal kind of stuff. Um, gaming is a big part of my life. It's something I do quite a lot of. Um, I'm just kind of the average, an average kind of person, I suppose. Gobagoz asks, what feature do you want to be added to Minecraft? Um, this changes quite regularly. Um, I would love to have more resolution, so being able to place more blocks in the current block area, but that will never, 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 never happen. Um... I would also like more ocean stuff, um, I would like more building blocks, I would like custom paintings. I know you can do it with maps now, funny story actually, we were talking um, to Dinnerbone in our Skype chat um, just before the release of the snapshots that had the updated map, co map colours um, and I was like oh I can't make my maps pink blah blah blah, it came up in conversation somehow. And uh, Dinnerbone was like oh boo hoo and then the snapshot came out like an hour later and you can make maps virtually any colour and I was like oh dinner bone I love you have my babies and yeah that that was fun but yeah I would love to have like an artist easel where you can actually design a map without digging out a 128 area um, and placing all the blocks I think that would be good um, and if you could live anywhere in any historical period where slash when would you live i probably wouldn't live in any historical period um maybe something interesting like the the age of discovery or i don't know if i could be some kind of royal then in a massive ass castle <laughs> um history doesn't really interest me all that much i'm much more interested in the future um if i could live in the future i would definitely do that um I suppose if I could take my wife, I would ask her, because she's very much more into history than I am, like the Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn, she likes all that kind of stuff, um, and all the period dramas and, and all that stuff. So I'd ask her if I could take someone with me. Uh, Pity asks, how big are your feet and do you wear slippers? Uh, my feet are slightly smaller than my socks and I do not wear slippers. Jargon Mart asks, what is your favourite book? I do not like favourite questions. 
Um, favorites change frequently and often. Um, I think that's true for most people, actually. Um, books I enjoy. Uh, Artemis Fowl or uh, Supernaturalists by Ian Colfer. Um, Ariel and Elegy Beach by Stephen R. Boyer. The Young Bond series. Titanic 2020 is a good book. Um, that's a really good book, actually. It's very little known as well. Um, I would definitely uh, recommend Googling a copy of that um, and picking it up. It's a really, it's a young adult book, but it's really, really good, I think. Um, the stuff by um, Michael Crichton is good. Um, Ergon series is good. Dark Materials, Harry Potter is good. Um, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy a lot of books. I used to read several hours every night um, before bed, um, which unfortunately I don't really do anymore. Um, I would love to love to be able to read more than I do now um but yeah I have I have so many favorite books um I could probably keep naming stuff like anything by Danny Wallace and um uh Dave Gorman if you want something non-fiction uh they're good too I I just love love all books um what did you want to be when you were growing up um I wanted to be a writer to be honest and I still I still kind of do um, I fell out of it over the last few years. Um, I kind of, I stopped writing for a while, um, but I'm getting back into it now. And I, I think it's something I'm willing to pursue. Um, and I would definitely like to be able to do it while still making YouTube videos because I already have an audience, you guys. Um, that's not to say I would, I would force my books upon you, but you may be interested in, in uh, what I have to write. Um, and it's definitely more of an audience than if I were just to be writing in my basement and I don't actually have a basement but writing in me in the attic I suppose and I don't actually have an attic right writing in some room of my house um and not knowing anybody um I'm very lucky to have a an audience that I can already tap into um for new projects I feel um and I hope that I can deliver uh stuff that's to your satisfaction um, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? This is something I've thought long and hard about. I don't know what that says about my character, um, but I have thought long and hard about what I, what superpower, super, bleh, superpower I would have. I would have the ability to change, manipulate, and move, uh, elements in the universe on the most subatomic fundamental level, like, I don't know, quarks, I guess, is the most fundamental that we know of at the moment but basically like the very fabric of the universe if you can control and move that you can make basically do anything because you can move anything up from that as well and you can change the properties of all the different quarks and hit bosons and whatever um i'm not too hot on my subatomic physics but you know what i mean um so you could change the size and the color and the consistency and the shape and you could change everything of everything if you could control that, like you can make yourself invisible, you can make yourself levitate, you could do, you could do whatever. Um, so yeah, that's what I would choose: controlling the universe on a fundamental level. And four, why am I so awesome? I'm not, I don't think, to be honest. Uh, Limp Wing asks: England or Canada? Where is better? Um, England is obviously where I grew up for twenty years. Um, it's my my childhood home i suppose but canada is very much where i could make my own um in england i spent 10 20 years in the same house um my parents house um but canada was my first time moving out uh first time living i say alone but i was living with my uh my girlfriend now wife and um uh, her cousin so but it was still somewhere where I could make my own. It was a city completely new to me. I knew nothing about it. Um, I knew nothing about the country, really. I could just explore and investigate and just make everything my own. So I kind of consider Canada to be home, but England to be home. Um, so it's I like them both for different reasons, essentially, if you know what I mean. Uh, Snever Kick asks, what is your favourite type of music? Another favourite question. Um, when I'm walking um, to town and back, I listen to a lot of Conti, uh, C-O-N-T-E, -E, 
Um, he has a YouTube channel, actually. Jack Conti, is it, I think? Maybe? Uh, I listen to a lot of his stuff. It's very, like, a hard electronic rock kind of stuff. Um, good walking music. Um, I walk pretty fast, so... Um, I also listen to a lot of Electro Swing, like uh, Pavov Stella Trio, Caravan Palace, um, and then uh, Postmodern Jukebox as well on YouTube. They are really, really good. Um, they do uh, like swing covers of pop songs. Um, if you haven't checked them out, definitely Google them. I think I think you can just find them with Postmodern Jukebox, and um, they are really, really, really good. Um, I used to listen to a lot of Muse as well, but I I kind of fallen out with Muse. Well, I'm not fallen out. We're not we're not like buddies. Um, but I haven't listened to their new album all that much. Um, I don't know if I just don't like the new stuff or if I've just uh, matured from my style of music. I don't know. Um, favorite type of food again. Favorite question. Um, food I like all of them. I like every food really. Apart there is two that I don't like and it. The names actually elude me at the moment, but I pretty much like every food. I suppose if I had to pick a style, uh, maybe Asian is pretty good. Um, I really like Canadian barbecue stuff, though. Um, like, I never I never really had proper barbecue until I went to Ribfest. Um, that was incredible. Um, so I really, I really enjoyed that food, too. Um, anything meaty, I enjoy a good steak. Yeah, food, food is just good. Favourite colour, um, I enjoy any colour as long as it's serving its purpose. Um, if something wants to be loud, then loud colours. If something wants to be calming, then calm colours. If a colour does its job, then it's a good colour. And do I have any siblings? Yes. Uh, Philippi Wee asks, do you follow any TV shows or maybe any anime? Um, anime, I watch Pokemon occasionally. Um, I'm trying to watch it from the beginning, um, but I'm only about 90 episodes in, I think, and that's been pretty much this entire year that I've been watching it. Um, so I'm probably never going to watch it all. Um, but I am I am kind of watching Pokemon on and off. Uh, TV shows at the moment love Homeland. Homeland is amazing. If you haven't watched Homeland, just go and watch it. It is so good. It gets a bit flaky at the start of this season, the third season, um, but the writers, they seriously know what they are doing and they made the entire series worthwhile over these last few weeks. Like, it's really, honestly, the, probably the best program I've ever watched, I think. Um, it's just so, so good. Um, I've enjoyed Dexter as well, um, until that went a bit crap. Um, yeah, I enjoy the standard kind of programs as well, QI, Top Gear. You know, but at the moment, I would say Homeland is my favourite programme. Um, so, E.E. E. Army Marvel asks, The making love to a mermaid question. Fish top, human bottom, or human top, fish bottom? Hmm. Well, if you wanted to make love to a mermaid for the sake of populating the world with some kind of weird fish-human-mermaid hybrid, then I would presume you would need the human bottom, as the genital organs need to match, or the reproductive organs need to match. Otherwise, it's like putting anything that's not an Apple product into an Apple product. Um, I, I presume you would need the fish half to be the top. Um, but if you were making love for the sake of enjoyment, then I suppose you would need just whatever your preference is, really. And that's a lot of detail that we won't go into. Um, Bitho asks, what's the Canadian citizen, citizen, yeah, my words, they do not work, citizenship exam hard? Uh, no, I haven't taken it yet, so I don't know. Um, uh, what I have done is applied to be a permanent resident under a spouse sponsorship. Um, but I will keep you guys updated if I ever take a citizenship exam, which I probably will do at some point. Limur asks, what type of laptop are you getting? Um, I am getting a gaming laptop, probably like an MSI or a Lenovo, maybe something custom build, we will see. Um, I'm probably going to decide properly within the next few hours. It takes me literally days to decide on a new laptop. Um, I've got a, I've personally got laptops, maybe, or my own laptop, three times in my life. Um, yeah, including this time. 
um, the first time where I had money to spend um, and I was going to decide on a laptop, I took probably about a week to decide on that one. Uh, then I had to make a decision to get a really cheap one, um, which was only meant to last me a little bit and then I'd get a better one. Um, and now we're at this stage where it's taken me a couple of days now to, to decide, but I think I'm nearly getting there. Um, let's see, Arthur C, how did you meet your wife? I met her online. Um, also, what is the name of the cat that is represented in the first video and this video, sleeping away? Uh, I call the cat kitty or shitbag or whatever. Um, see, it, it doesn't respond to whatever you call it, so call it whatever you want, do not matter. Um, Maloriara asks, do you like Lord of the Rings and your favourite character? Whoops, I just hit the microphone and you can see the jerry-rigged Lego stand. Um, I made a little tripod out of Lego, I'm not ashamed. Um, do you like Lord of the Rings and your favourite character? Um, I do not like Lord of the Rings. Um, I Admittedly, I haven't read the books. Um, but I have tried watching the movies, and it's just, I get bored, to be honest, with the movie. Um, favourite character, I assume you mean in all media. Whoops, my battery's low, you might have heard that. Um, I assume you mean in all media. Um, pfft, several, really. Like I said, I like so many books and movies and TV shows, so several characters are my favourites. Um... I believe I've answered that question already. And that one. Uh, TARDIS or DeLorean from Ice Cube Dude? TARDIS, that's just a no brainer. That, there's no question. Why would you ever want uh, anything else over TARDIS? Um, Kochi asks You like Harry Potter really much. Do you have any other fantasy series you really like? Um, Dark Materials, Aragon. I mentioned um, several of those already. My foot has gone to sleep and it's really painful. Oh, pins and needles. Okay. Um, Mr. Happy Parade asks, do you sleep on your side or on your back? I sleep on my front. Coffee or tea? Neither. Um, that was good. St. Dizzle, what are you in love with at this point in time? My wife. Um, I intend never to be in love with anything else ever. Um, I love you guys as well for your donations. Um, but if like. Just the one thing that I love, it would be my wife, no question. Um, for obvious reasons. Um, Fourteens asks, horse or pigs? Pigs, I suppose, they give me bacon. I suppose I have shopped at Tesco recently, so there might be horse too. Um, NB Trainor asks, what is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you as a kid? I don't get embarrassed often. Um... At least I don't dwell on embarrassment. Um, there was one memorable, memorable time where I was on the school roof um, achieve, uh, retrieving a football. Um, I did thusly and swiftly and then I lowered myself down off the roof and fell and my legs came out from under me and I slipped on my arse and I got a wet butt. Um, that was kind of embarrassing I suppose but I don't really get all that embarrassed often. There's no point. You just You just deal with it. Um, Inverness, Inverse Cobpiece asks, being one of the oldest members of the server, in that you've been on the server quite a long time, how has it felt to see the Minecraft group grow as a brand around you and with you? Also, what are your general thoughts on UHC? Um, as for Minecraft growing, um, incredible. Just literally incredible. I don't think any of us ever expected anything this huge to come out of Minecraft. We have... Uh, raised hundred, hundreds of thousands of dollars um, for charity. We have um, you guys have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for us, like uh, personal use, like with uh, um, Generic Bee's cat recently. BTC, I believe, had some computer problems, and me now with computer problems. Um, yeah, just crazy. Like, we had the developer of the game come in and to our live stream and yeah, just ridiculous, ridiculous, the the amount it's grown. Um, I am I feel so privileged to be a part of it. Um, I'm no big part, but um, just to be involved with, with 
something as huge as what Minecraft has become um, is just incredible, incredible. Um, and it's with thanks to all you guys, honestly, like, I think I speak for all of the Minecraft folk, like, we couldn't have done any of this without you, um, at all. And my general thoughts on UHC, um, I enjoy UHC, I'm not much of a PvP person, the PvP is kind of, it's basic, um, but it's, it's fun. Um, I would love to see more strategy and, like, traps and such, I would love to see there being, like, a, in kind of like the Hunger Games and, uh, battle royale where there's traps and explosions and like a, an overseer controlling everything i would love that to come to uhc um but yeah that's that's stories for another day i suppose and if that ever happens i don't know um einstein replica my friend says i sound like you so i'm wondering where in england you are from i'm from the southwest and that's not near you it's kind of near you it's on the south i suppose um J Dude, what is your favourite game of all time? Uh, several games. Again, another favourite question. Um, the GTAs are good. RimWorld is good. Harry Potter is good. Minecraft is good. FTL, Clo uh, Cogs. Um, what is it called? Reed Corp is good. Uh, Space Chem is good. A lot of games I enjoy are not great for Let's Play. Like Space Chem would be a very boring Let's Play. Um, but it is one of the best games I've ever played. Um... Yeah, several, several games. Lots of games. Um, AJ333, how were you invited to join the Minecraft server and what got you into Minecraft? Uh, got me into Minecraft? I don't know, actually. Um, I might have seen a video or I might have just seen it exist. I don't really know what got me into Minecraft. It's so long ago. I've been with Minecraft for ages, I think. Um possibly even back when it was when it was first released i don't remember but yeah i've been i've been with minecraft for ages um and invited to join minecraft i actually won the first competition for minecraft um so i've been here since um one of the first people on um like the f i think it was the f very first competition um i i won i won that in a weekend um, i sat down for the entire weekend and that's all i did was watch uh good's videos and answer the questions um, and I had watched Good before, um, but I was never, like, I didn't really enter competitions. Like, I, I saw that he made this competition, and I was like, okay, great, I was, everybody else is going to enter, I'm not going to win, there's no point. Um, and then several weeks went by, and it was, like, the last weekend, and um, there was still, like, one or two spaces open. Um, or there was one space open. And... Uh, I was like, okay, well, I might as well try. So I spent the entire weekend doing it. Um, and then I actually tied with uh, Karura, I believe. Um, so we both got that last space. Um, but yeah, it was just incredibly close. I don't know what would happen if like Karura got one more right or I got one more wrong. I got two wrong, I think. Um, yeah, it's one of those, one of those things is just how things could have been different i suppose but yeah that's a little a little tangent there um stone 4d what do you want to do on your youtube channel one day i would love something i've toyed with the idea that i would love to do is um some kind of of uh movies um short films um i'm not any kind of uh, special effects artist or cinematographer or anything like that but I love being able to tell a story. Like I said, I love world building. Um, so I would love to be able to do some of that one day. But that's years down the line if I ever get to do that. Um, but I would definitely love to. Uh, Pyro Pack Rat. Favourite song. Again, favourite question. I've mentioned a whole bunch of bands. I enjoy any of their songs. Whatever. Um, has Graduate asks, do you have all seven Harry Potter games? There's actually eight. Um... I do not. I've been purchasing them, purchasing them off eBay and praying that they work um, over the last however many months I've been doing a Harry Potter series. Um, so yeah, I have the first one and the second one. I haven't got the third one yet because I haven't completed the second one, um, but I will be on that in a couple of weeks. Um, I also have, I have a lot of them on, uh, oh, my legs. Me, 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 sleepy legs. I have a lot of them on um, uh, console, like PlayStation 1 and 2. Um, 
have the Quidditch World Cup on there too. I really wanted to do a Lego Creator series, but that just didn't, or a Lego Creator Harry Potter series, but that just didn't run on my computer at all, unfortunately. Um, who of the Minecraft guys would you want to do a cop with the most? Asked by Harry W. Anybody, really. I have some ideas for cops. Um, I haven't approached anybody because I have a terrible set up but when I get a better laptop I will probably approach more people about doing um, co-ops um, DJ Daddy D how did you first get interested in video games um, the standard really they were there so I played them um, we did have a computer I believe with like the basic computer games this was back in like 19 the early 1990s um, so we played the basic computer games on there. Um, but then uh, my brother broke his leg at some point. Um, he was still quite young. It was, when would that have been? Maybe 95, 96, maybe? No, that would only make him... It must have been around 98, 99. Um, and we got a PlayStation 1 because obviously he broke his leg. He, that's more beeping. Shh. He broke his leg. Um, i got to wrap this up soon so I don't run out of battery. He broke his leg. Um, and he was obviously, couldn't really do much of anything with a broken leg. Um, so my parents purchased him a PlayStation. Um, I think before that as well, we had a Game Boy. Um, I actually owned about seven Game Boys. We have... We have one each of the originals, one each of the colours, um, one each of the pockets from a Japanese exchange student we were keeping. Um, one, uh, my brother had a Game Boy Advance and a DS as well. Um, yeah, so we had about eight Game Boys in total. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of Game Boys actually. So yeah, I think we had those before. Um, there was one of my earliest memories is actually my dad picking up um, some Game Boy game in an airport uh, before we flew somewhere. I have no idea where and no idea what game it was. M maybe Kirby Pinball? Perhaps? I don't know. Um, Zero Zero asks, would you rather be a ninja or a viking? A niking or a vinja? Um... Which Minecracker could you beat in a fight R IRL? None of them, because I wouldn't want to fight them, because they're all nice people. How tall are you? Shorter than average. And what do you think about American football? Nothing. I'm not interested. Um, answered those, I think. Or when you, when you get a new PC, are you going to do the whole Harry Potter series? That is the idea. Um, those are answered Harry's life in Canada non-existent I'm still in England at the moment um, I just upvoted a question <laughs> didn't mean to do that um, what is your favorite show that has been answered Homeland is pretty good um, what is the most memorable moment on the Minecraft server um, hmm. hello I think I just got an email on my phone <laughs> ah Jesus professional um what is the most memorable moment on the minecraft server um what i like the most is watching people's uh, responses to pranks that i do um those those to me are the most memorable it just has me has me in tears because i know what's happening um and i love seeing the response from people it just it just has me in a giggle fit um yeah that is that is that who is my favorite doctor asked by larry a phillips uh, my family doctor is pretty good he's helped me through quite a few situations um but i assume you mean uh, doctor from the famous show doctor who um 10 maybe 11 10 was my doctor that's who i grew up with, with doctor who on um but i think i think i enjoy 11's style uh, 12, though, I think is going to be quite an interesting Doctor. I would love to see, uh, back when, after Amy and Rory left, what I really wanted from the Doctor was someone who was really down, like, didn't really care to help people anymore, but was only helping them because, uh, 
he felt like he needed to because that's all he ever did. Um, that's what I really want to see from the Doctor. So I'm hoping for a really dark Doctor from from Twelve. Um, and they've gone with an older actor, so that might be might be true. Hopefully. Splatty, do you have any hidden or unusual talents? No. And can you play any instruments? No. Um, if you were an animal, which would you be and why? By Dogstar? Pfft, any. Human. I, I quite enjoy being that. Uh, Box of the Kangaroos, what is your favourite type of soup? Oxtail. Um, are you thinking of getting a laptop or a computer? Uh, just co by just Colin. I'm thinking of getting a laptop because um, if I were to get a computer, even a mini computer, that's going to take either a suitcase or half a suitcase to get to Canada, and I've already got more than two suitcases, which is the maximum allowance anyway. So if I were to have another suitcase, that would be three, and I could probably fill four suitcases at that point, um, and that would cost like two hundred dollars to transport. Um, and be more hassle than it's worth, really, and I would probably have to pay import tax and all that kind of stuff. So it's just way, way, way easier to get a laptop. Um, I would love to get a computer. Um, it's way better value for money, but it's just so much easier to get a laptop. I just can't... It just That outweighs everything else at the moment, really. Um... If you were forced to live alone on a desert island with nothing but clothes, what would you bring with you? No Limit by Algon Northorn. Um, if there's no limit, I would bring everything. Really? <laughs> like, just bring bring everything, because you have everything, then, in a nice little box. <laughs> yeah, there you go, no limit. So, um, The Crunky Baby, what is the proudest moment of your life? That's a very good question. I do not know. Um, being part of this community, I'm pretty proud of. Um, yeah, being even such a small part, it's less proud, more humble, um, I guess that's what I would, would highlight, I suppose. Um, is Minecraft overwhelming to you due to the fact that most people on there are bigger YouTubers, asked, asked by the best ginger? Um, it's not overwhelming because we're friends for the majority, um, well, I say for the majority, we pretty much are, like, 100% we're, we're friends. Um, so it's not overwhelming. It's not like you're uh, you're super famous, oh my god. Um, it is, like, at first when, say, Etho and, and such were invited, it was, it was pretty like, wow, I actually get to, like, be with Etho, and I, I've watched all your stuff. But, like, you become friends quickly, and it's... It's less overwhelming, more like, holy crap, this actually happens. Like, as much as I'm still their friend, I'm also their fan, like, still. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what it is. I don't, I wouldn't describe it as overwhelming, though. Who would win in a fight, B-dubs or a generic B? I don't know. Whoever. Um, MC Yay Tomato, do you like chips? Hmm. Chips as in fries? Yes. Chips as in crisps? Yes. Chips is in poker chips? Yes. Chips is in chips off a stone block? Not really, they're kind of boring. Um, any kind of chips, though, I, I like. Uh, computer chips? Yes. Chips, good, great. Um, Favourite memory from the Minecraft server? That's been kind of answered. Why do you keep playing on a laptop? That's already been answered. Um... Favourite Harry Potter character, and what's your favourite Harry Potter book? Harry Potter character, they're all good in their own regard. Um, I'm reading um, Prisoner of Azkaban at the moment, and I kind of like Lupin's character. I forgot how interesting he was. Um, and I like Tonks for a very different reason. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the movie version of Tonks, anyway. Um, and the same reason why I like uh, Hermione Granger as well. <laughs> And as for the favourite moment in the books, that's already been answered. Um, I am Benny Boy. Do you have a favourite quote or motto to live by? No, not really. I think as long as you can be a good person and be good to others, um, like, I suppose, treat others how you would want to be treated, um, then that's that's good enough. Um, yeah, just be, just be an all-round good person, which I try to be. Uh, did you have a favourite TV show when you were younger? 
When I was younger, eh? I didn't watch Homeland when I was younger, that's for sure. What did I watch a lot when I was younger? I suppose I watch a lot of, like, Top Gear. Um, I grew up on, say, Top Gear and various cartoons that elude me at the moment. Um, being in the UK, there's just been a lot of ta talent shows, or not talent shows, panel shows, quiz shows, um, things like that. This video is getting way too long. Um, did you have a favourite... Oh, I asked that. Did you have a favourite TV show when you were younger? Yep. Um, if I were to draw you fan art, what would you want? Uh, anything. Go ahead. I enjoy fan art a lot, so just do whatever. That was asked by Moon Mask. Um, favourite book of all time? That has been answered. Why the Minion Skin? That has been answered. Uh, what is the favourite build you have ever done? Favourite build. Favourite build. I've only done the castle, <laughs> so the castle. Um... Have you ever seen Mega XLR? No. Do you like RPGs? Yes. Um, at the moment I'm playing some New Vegas um, on the PS3. Skyrim is pretty fun. Um, yeah, I enjoy RPGs. Um, do you watch any anime? That has been answered. How old are you? That is 22. Uh, Kirk or Picard? Neither. I've never watched Star Trek, to be honest. I, I intend to, but it's finding time. Uh, cat's name, that's been answered, it just doesn't matter, she don't care. Um, on a level of 1 to 100, how much do you love minions? They're alright, I guess, they're kind of a bit annoying. <laughs> no, they're, they're good. I like, they're funny. They're one of the funniest characters I've ever seen, I think. Um, what are your thoughts on space travel? Asked by Misha Mikado. I believe space travel is fundamentally important to, to humanity and to the exploration. Um, like, we should focus way more effort and resources on space travel than we do. Like, it is it is ridiculously important, I, I believe. Um, yeah, we should just definitely, like, knuckle down and start space traveling. Do it. Do it now. It's just, I can't express that enough. Do it. Go do it, or everybody. Um, Drando HS, if you were to go back in time, what advice would you give to your younger self? Um... Work harder in school, especially college, um, and and get a better laptop, because then not everybody would be mad <laughs> with your laptop. Uh, what is your favourite band that has been answered? What was your reaction when you first invited to join Minecraft? Disbelief, I never thought I would get on. Um, and would you expect the community to get this big? No. Uh, when are we going to see you in more PvP situations? Um, I intend to with a new laptop, so then... Um, it'll give me the advantage I have been lacking. Uh, what are your plans for the future? Uh, to continue with YouTube, focus on writing. Like I said, hopefully, maybe, one day, possibly, be able to create some kind of movie. Um, yeah, that those are my plans. Uh, Killer Hound, will you show your face any time in the future? I have no plans to. I don't see it, see it as an important thing. Um... Th my my personality is my voice. Um, my face is nothing nothing great. I'm I have a nose and some eyes and and whatever. I don't see it being important to be honest. Um, when you're playing a game but not recording, do you ever commentate in your head as if you were recording? I don't commentate in my head. I commentate out loud. Like I've done that for the entirety of my life. Um, I I talk to the game I'm playing. Um, what came first, chicken or the egg? I believe. Okay, now I believe the egg came first as the DNA, I'm running low on battery, stop, as the DNA that, that represented a chicken um, was put into that egg, and that egg was, was there. Like, the egg containing that chicken DNA was the first thing that was, like, part of that chicken. So I think the egg. Uh, but if you think life begins after the egg, then... The chicken, I suppose. It doesn't matter. What's your favourite and least favourite hockey team? Favourite Senators, least favourite... Whichever has recently beat the Senators. <laughs> um, Non-serious question. How do you feel about Alfie playing with a team that contend for the Stanley Cup for once? I'm not really bothered. I understand that Alf, uh, Daniel Alfredson did a lot for the Ottawa Senators over the 14 years. But as a recent hockey fan, it doesn't really affect me all that much. Um, all for him. Like, he's, what, 40 years old or something? So I'm all for him, like being able to to try for one last time to get the, the Stanley Cup and giving himself the best chance. 
Um, if you had the chance to design a game, what type of game would you design and why would that be? Uh, game design was something I was attempting. Um, I was working on a like a proper zombie survival game, like one that you would actually have to survive in. It would genuinely be difficult to survive in. Um, that I've kind of I've scrapped at the moment, but I am working on something else, um, or I will be when I am back up and running with a computer. Um, that is for the future, though. Um, if you had to eat a cat or a dog, what would you eat? If I had to, I presume I would be starving. Um, so I would go with a dog, as there's more meat on a dog. Um, if it was a wild cat, then probably a cat, because obviously there's more meat. So if I had to, then I would eat what would ever fill me up the most, because I would presumably be starving. Uh, can you do a room tour? Uh, then again, no point, I don't think. I have a bed, I have um, a desk, I have chest of drawers, I have a pile of books, I have whatever. Like, 